we will study it today connect a single phase transformer as step up step down transformer and verify the transformation ratio this is the practical so i am just explaining the transformation ratio using the step down transformer i have taken three different step down transformer first one is 606 second one is 909 and third one is 12012 and i will explain how to calculate the transformation ratio uh, using different transformers and these are all step down transformers and as you know there are two windings in a transformer one is a primary and second one is a secondary so there are two types of uh, coils so here for the primary winding we are giving 230 volts supply voltage and uh, because we are using a step down transformer that means the input is greater output is lower so that we have to study today so if i give 230 as input so i will get according to the transformer windings 6069091212 these three are step down transformers as i already told you we are using a step down transformer three step down 60606909091212 v1 is the primary voltage so that is coming from the input side and v2 is the secondary voltage and we have to uh, calculate the transformation ratio k is equal to v2 by v1 so now i will explain how to take the input voltage and for that we have to use a digital multimeter and in that we have to set a ac voltage so this is the symbol of the ac v means ac voltage in this also it is clearly given ac this is voltage so we have to measure the primary voltage yes so i have kept the meter in the ac voltage mode and i have just put for the input side and i just on this button so i will get the input voltage as 241 volts so this voltage we have to write as v1 voltage 241 volts it is common for all the three transformers so commonly i just write the input voltage as 241 for all the transformers Now I will show you how to measure the transformation ratio from a step down transformer 606. So I have to keep again the meter in the AC mode. We are going to measure 6 and 6. So it is showing 14.54 volts. It is no load condition. 6 and 6, 14.51 volts. And I will going to measure 6 and 0. So I will get 7.3 volts. So that I will going to write over here. 0 and 6. 7.3 volts. So it is. Input has got a 3. That is 606. We are using either these two arm as 6 and 0 or this 0 and 6 so in the both cases we are getting the voltages as 7.3 or 7.2 it may vary as the input voltage varies secondly i will show you how to measure out of 909 transformer so i will held the meter probe ac has got no polarity 9 and 9 i will held so i will get 21.7 volts so that i will going to write over here 21.7 volts next i will measure 0 and 9 0 and 9 
so i will get 11.14 volts 11.14 volts same in the same manner i will show you how to measure out of 12012 12. this is a 12012 12 transformer i will show you how to measure the voltages from 12012 12 transformer so first i will held for 12 and 12 so the meter reading came as 26.3 volts so that i will going to write over here 26.3 volts so next i will going to held 0 and 12 middle and the last so i will get 13.41 volts so i will write over here 13.41 volts so now we have to calculate v2 by v1 so so for a step down transformer the transformation ratio k is always less than 1 so according uh, what the result we got so we have to do v2 by v1 so 14.51 divided by 241 i will get 0.06 same in the same way uh 27.3 v2 divided by 241.03 so sir, repeat the same step for 909 and 1202 12. we got the respective readings 0.09.04.1 and 0.05 respectively